are the chefs on tour and they're on a mission to put the Australian state of Victoria on their menu. From the Ballerine, our chefs head north, inland to Victoria's Central Highlands, 80 kilometres northwest of Melbourne. This is prize beef country, Wagyu country. We're exporting to about 13 or 14 countries at the moment, as well as having a good market in, in Australia. Vicky Scher has been farming Wagyu beef on her family property at Balan for over 20 years. These cattle here are our um, F2 and F3 Wagyu cross, so they're either 75% Wagyu or 84% Wagyu. And these are cattle that are destined for, for meat. So and it's all about the marbling. Mm -hmm. So what kind of food do you feed your cattle to, to remain the quality of your Wagyu? Well, how we breed our cattle is that we feed them on our grass, on our pastures, on our farms, up until they're 20 months of age. Then after that, they go on a specially formulated Japanese-style barley-based ration for 14 months or 400 days. It's the ration, as well as the genetics, that um, create the marbling in the beef and, and the flavour in the beef and a very consistent quality all year round. Sher Wagyu is one of the region's biggest exporters, but today it's on the menu at local restaurant The Plough. Head chef and restaurateur Mark Mills is serving up a light carpaccio. Hi, chefs. No worries. How are you? Good. Please, please enjoy our oh, Sherwagyu nice. carpaccio. Is this the Wagyu that comes from the Sherwagyu farm? Yes, it is. Thank you. And it's a porterhouse cut and a marble score six. <laughs> wow. Excellent taste, flavour, texture. Good combination by Chef Wang. The chefs make light work of lunch with food-loving members of the local community.